Humidity, though, was pretty oh, brutal this year. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes, that, so I had that second leg. It was like 5 at night on Friday, and there was haze in the air. It was muggy. It was yeah. in the industrial, like, you know, you go to Tilikum, dig towards Scapoose. And, With very yeah, little shade. It yeah. was, uh, yeah, you could see why at the end there. I was, like, the, behind the group on the sand. I was like, I'm done. I got my <laughs> flip flop. I could barely walk. I was like, I'm done. So. And, and how fast the weather can change here yeah. in Portland. This it, morning you wake up with drizzle and cooler temperatures. You think we would have fast forwarded like three months into the future and mm -hmm. you know in a way we kind of have with those cloudy skies uh, a much different picture for us but up towards Mount Hood Meadows right now actually holding on to still a bit of that sunshine and the hazy conditions where our temperatures right now remember this number 73 flash over to Portland 71 so it is warmer up at 7,000 feet or so compared to where we are in downtown. All thanks to that widespread cloud coverage and the marine layer helping to kind of cool off our conditions as Seaside is also picking up on a bit of that cloud coverage and temperatures on the cooler side at about 67 at this hour. A big difference though from west to east up and down the I-5 corridor. Some nice cool colors as we've only managed to get up into the 60s and 70s in many cases, but just on the other side of the Cascades. We're talking about triple digit heat Pendleton at 103 this afternoon and seeing the Dallas into the mid 80s. So they're seeing just a bit of a taste of those cooler temperatures kind of funneling out of the Columbia River Gorge. So a good location to be for today as our temperatures out towards Portland are down by about 15 degrees, if not even closer to 20 degrees in some cases compared to where we were just about this time yesterday. So the weather whiplash is well in the works as we went from the 90s all the way to the 70s. That will be the case over the next several days. So the breakdown, the biggest takeaway of the forecast is the rain chance once again returning to the Pacific Northwest, not only today, but tomorrow and through the middle, if not even the end of the week. As that marine layer did bring us just some light drizzle through the I-5 corridor, starting to break apart out along the coastline. But as the sun starts to sit lower in the sky, that will only keep our marine layer over our heads. Another sign that the fall season is quickly approaching now only 25 days away from the autumn equinox, which also brings us to school time. That's where tomorrow's morning drop off is going to be right around 61 overcast skies. That's going to take us into the afternoon hours where you might be able to pick up on a stray raindrop or two as we only get up into the mid 70s. But here's the breakdown expecting to see that widespread cloud coverage usher its way back into the I-5 quarter if you're lucky enough to actually see it clear and then maybe a raindrop or two possible for parts of the Willamette Valley out along the coast and over the high terrain of the Cascades. That's where we desperately need to see the rainfall to help to diminish a lot of our fire threat and that hit and miss shower potential takes us well into Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. This model as we flip it over, it shows it a little bit more aggressively. Uh, take that with a grain of salt, but we do expect to see our next best chance to see widespread heavy downpours by the time we get into Thursday with our latest cold front. That's going to help to fill up our rain gauges here close to a couple of one hundredths of an inch all the way to a tenth of an inch anywhere from Vancouver to Portland all the way to Hood River, which would be great for that brand new fire burning just to the west of the peak of Mount Hood. As all of the wildfire smoke is expected to be on the move, not only from that marine layer, but with additional rainfall, it's going to help to kind of wash out those particulates out of the sky. Tonight we fall to about 62 degrees. Tomorrow warming back up into the mid 70s. A hit and miss shower is a possibility. Not heavy, but that does change by the time we get to Thursday. Look at those daytime highs struggling to even hit 70 degrees for us come Thursday. And then we expect to dry things back out. The sunshine returns for Saturday. Highs back to where they should be this time of the year in the low 80s. So overall seeing a little bit of everything for everyone this mm -hmm. week. Yeah. yeah, we're excited about the fall vibes. Josh <laughs> and I were both separately buying pumpkin stuff. This <laughs> we weekend. were. I'm sure you're all over that too, right? Oh yeah. Jeff? Oh yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. Well, construction <laughs> on a new